Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's the cooking nurse and in today's video I'm gonna be dealing with the fish lovers. I'm going to show you how to make this super crispy, super succulent, seasoned to the bone tilapia fish and I'm gonna be doing it in the air fryer. Yeah, the air fryer because someone asked me actually but if you don't have that one, please don't leave. I'm going to tell you how you can do it without one or in other ways okay so what we have right now is a tilapia fish that looks like it's been gone for days and needs a good cleaning a good wash so what i'm going to do is go on and cut off some of these fins that i can because they are really hard and that knife is really sharp so if you don't have a sharp knife they may end up piercing you so you can just opt to leave them alone okay and when you're done cooking it you can just ignore eating them so I'm going to go on and, you know, scale off these other skills that the guy who sold me the fish was too lazy to remove because they are not edible to me. And after doing that, I'm going to go on ahead and put away this water, get fresh water and use a lemon now to do an extra touch, you know, of cleaning. This is like the third water. I do not know why fish lives in water, but it look, it turns out to be a bit dirty or maybe this is how it's supposed to be in its natural state i don't know i just don't know but i'm washing it because i don't want it now to be over to take it overboard and be too fishy yeah if you can't do all this they just just make sure your fish is clean and yeah that's it that's it i just don't want to have now a whole fishy situation in the whole house so i want to clean it thoroughly well this lemon also helps make up that you know scent i don't know if you can tell but all these things came off and this is like the third water so you know you have to clean that fish clean it please so anyways i'm done cleaning it and i'm going to be seasoning it but in the meantime i'm going to request you guys to subscribe we hit 5k we are almost 5.5 i'm just hoping that this year we can hit 10k 10k subs hmm, thank you so much guys I am really here for this. It's been two years since I joined this platform and I'm loving it here. If you don't follow me on my Instagram, also take this opportunity after watching this video to go on ahead and search for the cooking nuts and follow me there. It's more fun. I promise. I promise you. So anyways, I'm patting my fish dry. You can use a towel, a kitchen towel, a kitchen pepper, anything that you, you're willing to let go. And then I'll cut in these small, small incisions that are going to help me uh transport my seasoning to all the parts of this fish 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 meat yeah if you don't have an air fryer meanwhile you can after doing everything we are going to do right now put this fish in foil and put it on top of a charcoal stove okay if you don't have an oven if you have an oven do exactly the same thing we are going to do with the air fryer it's also dry heat so you just put it on a rack or a good uh baking dish and insert it and keep on turning yeah it's not really like so hard but those ones who don't have those machines and you have charcoal and you want to do good please do that what i'm doing here is season with salt black pepper preferably or ideally you'd use white pepper but i do not have that one and if you know me so bad like good enough you know i use what i have nothing comes between me and good food just because i don't have it i'm going to make it work do the same it really saves a lot of time so this is my air fryer right now my second favorite gadget if not the first now the blender still leads i'm going to go in ahead and brush in some oil because the fish has uh, a thin skin and i've not done that before though it's non-stick but i'm not sure what if it sticks i don't want to risk so i put it in and put in the air fryer at i'm going to be setting the temperature at 200 degrees celsius and I'll set the timer at 30 minutes. After putting this, you can even just go in the town and do your own things and, you know, come back later. That is how good life ha is getting. When oil is getting stubborn, we are living life like this. So 10 minutes later, this is how it looks. And I'm going to be flipping it because as you can see, this is already crispy enough. And I want the other side that's been receiving these fats, these oils uh, from the fish to also crisp up. So it's good to go. So this was done, I think, actually in around 25 minutes. Yeah, the temperature was really high. And I think, I want to think that this machine is going to keep working like that. The temperature is not going to, at any point, start not, you know, doing the right thing. So this is a fish, as you can see. Look at that. 
look at that you can achieve the same results with the oven the same results with the foil on charcoal after it's ready you just remove it from the foil and put it directly on heat to crisp up you can achieve the same in the air fryer the same when you deep fry the rich guys who can afford oil hi guys how are you adopt us anyways thank you so much for watching up until this time i'll be seeing you soon in my next video bye